I first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and all glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakodash, the honor to the apostles and the elders that do live a great millstone. It's a peace and salutation to the Akim, how they're pushing this gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom to you, humble and sincere sisters out there as well. You know, this another walk here, you know, I decided to make a video real quick. Right, I didn't really have a title for it, just wanna bring out some edification, you know, a few scriptures that come to mind. Hey, the first one I would like to bring out is first Peter chapter 4, verse 12, it's a beloved thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Right, so the scripture say, think it not strange concerning the afflictions, the trials that we had to go through. Right, in the flesh, and all the infirmities in the flesh, the things of the, the spirit, you know. Things of the spirit and all these things that we may have to go through. Yeah, the sun think it not strange because this is this is the um this is the walk. Right, when thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation and set thy heart aright. Right? So this this is the part that, that Jacob, right, that Israel has to take in order to enter into salvation. Right, that straight gate. Right, but it say what rejoice. Be glad. You understand? And as much as you are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings, right? So cause we following after Yahweh Shai. And if you look at the life of Yahweh Shai, you realize that he suffered. Right? He was a prophet. He was a teacher. Right? He was a guide. You know? And he was that light. Right? And he lived that life righteously in perfection. And then he was put to be crucified. Right, he, he went and he fasted in the wilderness prior to that, and you know, he went through the afflictions before the main affliction. So it shows you that you know, his life wasn't a bed of roses, right? He had to go through different things, right? And he was put to death. But understand that the way he was put to death, hey, he, he rose, he rose from the dead. You understand? <clears throat> On the third day, she tell them he would rent the temple and he would he would build it back up. And they thought it was the physical temple, not knowing it was he. Because he's the temple. Right? He's that body. Mm -hmm. The book of Romans chapter 6 verse 4. It said, therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as Yahweh Shai was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also should walk in newness of life for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection right so it says we are buried with him into, into death right because we follow after Yahweh Shai you understand? We follow after Yahweh Shai. We walk this walk. It's a but the same way Yahweh Shai was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in the newness of life. So even though ourselves we are, you know, we, we, we are sacrifices as well. Right? We have given up our lives. The scriptures say they love not their lives unto death. Right? To strive for the truth unto death, right? We will suffer with Yahweh Shai, we shall we will die. Some of us will die as as you know, as he did, and, and, and be martyred, right, for the truth's sake. But we should also walk in the newness of life. Right, so you say, if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, right, we walk in the same faith, we are to suffer the same faith, we shall also be in the, in the likeness of our resurrection. Right, verse 8 say, for if we, now if we be dead with Hamashiach, we believe that we should also live with him. Knowing that Yahweh Shai, being raised from the dead, died no more. Death had no dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto Yahweh. You understand? So 
I just reiterate any point if he died you understand he went through that walk he did what he had to do and he emerged greater right he said for the sufferings of this present time can be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us right because even though you know he had to go through that the affliction it only lasted so long but now he's sitting on the right hand side of the heavenly father for forever for eternity all powerful all knowing right all dominion you understand Book of Matthew chapter 10 Verse 38 Say and he that take it not his cross And follow it after me is not worthy of me He that find it his life shall lose it And he that lose it his life For my sake Shall find it Alright So if you are willing to take up this cross Alright these burdens Alright this, this weight and, 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 and follow after Yahushai Because hey, Yahushai had his cross not literally saying that he carried the cross to where he was crucified but he had a burden himself that would the cross represent that burden that affliction right he take up that and he walk with it and if we follow in after i wish i hear yeah, you best believe you gonna have to put some on your back too you understand you gonna have to put a burden on your back you understand <clears throat> Say he that findeth his life shall lose it. Alright, so these people are establishing themselves on this side of the youth. Right, but on, the, on this earth, you know, establishing themselves eh, financially and you know they believe in the, the religions and the philosophies of this earth, you know. Um the school, the education system, the deep in the system, you know, all they care about is is, is prospering in the society. They they they're gonna they're gonna lose their life because they're thinking they're finding life when in all reality they're losing it but the scriptures say what he that loses his life for my sake shall find it so the ones that that the ones that gave up on this society that that basically you know throw away their wealth gave up any scholarships gave up any you know careers right gave up gave up family gave up friends gave up comfort gave up homes right gave up comfort and pleasure right for this truth for the truth sake for the truth sake they're gonna they're gonna find their life right the same way yeah, the, yeah, I said the son of man I know with the rest he said he was like an alien in the earth right like a pilgrim and the son and he <coughs> he he live a, a very let me say a difficult life you understand and then he was crucified right? he was killed but he found he found life and the life that he found was not temporal life but he found the immortality right and he found the infinite dominion right so for, for, for the for those that fallen after the lord they're gonna find the same thing right when we give up our lives we give up everything right and we go through these afflictions but guess what in the end your reward is waiting for you. Scripture said, "The Lord wouldn't forget your labor of love." With that, we bless us and we're satisfied. Giving all praises to our Bashemel Shai, Bashemel Kakadash. Shalom.